Did you know that nearly half of the world's electricity is consumed by one invention? It's something we use every day without even thinking about it, the electric motor. But how does it work? In this video, we'll break down how a DC motor works and how it converts electrical energy into mechanical motion. But first, let's explore what happens when electricity flows through a wire. When an electric current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around it, something like this. Now, if we shape that wire into a loop, the magnetic field wraps around in a specific pattern, forming poles just like a magnet. So in short, a current carrying wire behaves like a magnet. And this simple fact is the foundation of how electric motors work. They harness this magnetic force to create motion. In the next steps, we'll see exactly how this transformation happens. We know that magnets have two poles and unlike poles attract each other while like poles repel. Since a current carrying wire acts like a magnet, it also experiences a force when placed in a magnetic field. This force is what makes an electric motor work. Fleming's left-hand rule helps us determine the direction of this force. Imagine three perpendicular axes. The second axis represents the direction of the magnetic field, which flows from the North Pole to the South Pole. The first axis shows the direction of the current in the wire, which is the flow of electric charge. Now the third axis, perpendicular to both the magnetic field and the current, points in the direction of the force acting on the conductor. Now let's try to design a system that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy using the force we just discussed. Imagine we have a loop of wire carrying current and we place it in a magnetic field that goes from left to right. Using Fleming's left-hand rule, we can predict that the force on one side of the loop will be upwards and the force on the opposite side will be downwards. Because of these forces, the loop will start to rotate. However, this setup has a few problems. First, once the coil rotates 90 degrees, the direction of the force changes. Instead of continuing the rotation, the forces will try to push the coil back in the opposite direction. This would result in an oscillatory motion where the loop keeps rocking back and forth rather than completing a full rotation. The second problem is that the force on one part, the coil always acts in a single direction. Only the tangential component of this force, the part acting along the direction of rotation, is responsible for turning the coil. As the coil rotates, this tangential component becomes smaller and smaller, which means the rotation slows down. This makes the system inefficient and prevents the motor from running smoothly. To address these issues, we need a more refined mechanism with few modifications that ensures continuous, smooth rotation. Let's explore how this is achieved in a practical motor. For the first issue, where the force on the wire changes direction after half a rotation and resists the motion, we can solve this by changing the direction of the current at the right moment. This changes the direction of the force on the wire, keeping the rotation going in the same direction. Essentially, by continuously reversing the current at the right times, the force on the coil keeps pushing it forward, ensuring smooth and continuous rotation in a single direction. To achieve this change in the direction of current flow, we use a component called a commutator. A commutator is a segmented cylindrical piece of conductor, which is connected to the loop in a specific way. As the loop rotates, each segment of the commutator alternates contact with the terminals of the current source. After half a rotation, the segments switch their connection to the source's polarity. This reversal of contact causes the current in the loop to change direction at just the right moment. As a result, the force on the coil also reverses direction, keeping the loop rotating continuously in the same direction. The commutator is essential for achieving this seamless change in current direction, solving the problem of oscillatory motion and enabling the motor to work efficiently. To address the second issue, where the tangential component of the force diminishes as the coil rotates, we can use a simple but effective modification, adding more coils to the system. For instance, if we add another coil to the setup and design it so that the current starts flowing through the second coil when the first one rotates by 45 degrees, the motor's performance improves significantly. With this arrangement, as one coil reaches the point where its tangential force becomes weaker, the second coil takes over, ensuring that there is always a strong force available to drive the rotation. 
This reduces fluctuations in the force acting on the coil system, resulting in smoother and more consistent motion. By adding even more coils, the performance continues to improve, the rotation becomes more uniform, and the motor operates more efficiently with less variation in torque. This is how modern motors are designed to achieve smooth operation. An industrial DC motor is designed to operate using direct current DC electricity and is constructed with several key components. The motor has strong curved magnets that create a stable magnetic field within which lies the rotor, the part that rotates. The rotor is built around a core made of laminated iron or steel. This core enhances the rotor's magnetic properties and provides a structure for the windings, which are copper wires wound tightly around the core. These windings carry the current that interacts with the magnetic field to generate motion. The rotor also has a shaft, which connects it to the load or external mechanism that the motor is intended to drive. Around the shaft is the commutator, a critical component that ensures the motor's smooth operation. The commutator's primary job is to reverse the direction of the current in the windings at the right moment to maintain continuous rotation. In motors with multiple coils, it also switches the current between coils to keep the torque consistent. The commutator connects to the DC power source through stationary brushes made of conductive material that remain in contact with the rotating commutator. This setup allows electricity to flow into the rotating rotor without the brushes themselves moving. When the motor is powered, the magnetic field interacts with the current in the windings, producing a force. The commutator ensures that this force creates a unidirectional torque, enabling the rotor to spin continuously. That's how a DC motor works. If you enjoyed this explanation and want to see more engineering topics simplified, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.